Hi, I'm Keith, and I'm going to show you how to check and change the final drive oil on a John Deere 650K. To drain the final drive oil, you always want to vent the top first in case there's any kind of pressure in there. And as you can see, it's full. You put this plug back in, making sure it's clean and free of any mud or dirt or gravel. To check and change the final drive oils, we're at the back here. Here's your check and fill plug. I've already cleaned it off. And down below here is your drain plug. I've already cleaned it off as well. To drain the final drive oil, you always want to vent the top first in case there's any kind of pressure in there. So we're gonna crack loose the top plug. It's just a half inch drive socket with a little extension on to get it away from the frame. It's a square hole that it fits into. Sometimes they can be really tight. In this case, it was just perfect. So now to pull it out, I usually pop my extension off the ratchet, put it in there and just slowly pull the plug out just in case there's lots of pressure in behind it. You wanna make sure it's clean so no mud gets in there when you pull it out. Now the oil level should be very close to the top of this. It's not coming out right now. If it comes out a little bit, that's okay. Put my finger in there and as you can see, it's full. Now that this plug is out to change the final drive oil, you're going to pull the bottom plug out, let it fully drain, reinsert the bottom plug, and then refill from this plug hole until the oil comes out of this plug hole. Once you've done changing it or checking it, you put this plug back in, making sure it's clean and free of any mud or dirt or gravel. Make sure it's nice and snug so it can't come out while in operation. There's two final drives on this machine. One is on this side, one is on the opposite side with the, exactly the same two plugs and the same process. And that's how you check and change the final drive oil on a John Deere 650K. To support the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe.